let's go on a journey. There'll be twists and turns and we'll likely take the wrong path a few times. We'll get tired. But if we go all in, we'll discover our greatest purpose, our truest self, and be transformed along the way. Are you ready? Let's talk about saving grace. If grace is God's gift of perfect love for us, then saving grace is God's perfect love meeting us at the point of our journey when we are ready to travel along the better way, the way of Jesus. Let's be honest, temptations work because they are tempting. However, it is not just the act itself that is tempting but the promise that goes along with it. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, the words of the tempter promised that in doing so, they would become like God. It doesn't always happen right away, but inevitably, the time comes when we begin to look around and realize we do not recognize where we are. We're lost. The promises of the temptations were empty, the excitement has faded, and our eyes begin to see the emptiness of the path we were on. Saving grace is God meeting us on our chosen path, reminding us we were always welcome and guiding us along the road back to the better way. It is like God giving us a compass, allowing us to make sense of the map and read it with new eyes, to navigate around the dangers and to stay true to God's purpose for our lives. Saving grace reminds us we were created for something more, it welcomes us with open arms. It provides all that is necessary for us to return to the better way, the way of Jesus.